Interesting. And then the episode oh, will be so, naturally <clears throat> any because yeah. it's fucking not planned. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Nia Show. Where would this take them? Where is this current mm. feeling or value set going to take them in the wow. future? Like, yeah. Opposites. Like, you're going that I'm, way, I'm going this way. I mean this very literally. There's no emotion. And how I did that, for me, it's just pure efficacy of recall. I got some time left. Oh, I have to heal me. I think that's the NI as opposed to any that just wants to see it in its totality, right? Common point of, uh, what was that word you used, Zoda? <laughs> what? What the f? Yo, and, what and the he... f? Okay, go on, go on. Let's Dude, go on, let's go on. I will chew you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about the function NE. My name is Jono, we have Leon, we have Otem, we have Assis. We are all intuitive dominant types and uh, we are trying to work out how to do things in life. And by that, we have created a YouTube channel in which to explore ourselves and understand humanity. NE. Leon, tell us what it is. What is an E? <laughs> what it is, homie. Um, it seems, at least in my experience, uh, that any savior types love to play devil's advocate. They love to debate. Um, and he's like gathering information in the form of patterns and concepts. They prefer to look at all the possibilities before narrowing down. That doesn't mean they don't narrow down. It just means that's what they do before. And then they, they do this to specific details that they can see in reality. Like they can see all the patterns on a spectrum and they usually have a hard time when having to organize them. Um, those with yeah. any, whether it's a savior function or not, will be seeing physical items like events, memories, traditions, or whatever, as it's personal to their SI. So they won't see the possibilities or concepts as personal. Um, and I have felt like you guys crap all over my intuitive ideas sometimes and it's no offense taken, but it's, it's interesting to see how many more things that you see that I don't see. And, uh, it's, yeah. it's a good learning thing for me. Yeah. So it's like, basically you see when you're given some information or some data, you're able to see a spectrum of all the different potential outcomes or spectrum of possibilities. Yeah. Um, some of them can be incredibly wacky to incredibly practical. But the problem is then trying to figure out which is the good practical one. Yeah. It should be noted, though, that um, <clears throat> just because we're any, it, it's not like we see everything and that Leon only sees mm -hmm. one thing and then we shit on him for being bl a blind idiot. Like, <laughs> like we, just, we just happen to see more things most of the time. Like uh, there have been a lot of times where uh, like Leon and I are just talking and he, he points something out. And it's like, oh, shit, I didn't even think of that. I was thinking of. 10 more things than Leon was, but that was over here and Leon was over here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. An example yesterday, if we want to go there, is uh, the coronavirus that's been going on and stuff. We were thinking about how can we prepare and Assis was like giving all these awesome points. And then I'm like, dude, we got to get candles because the electricity might go out. And he's like, oh crap, like, yeah. But I mean, yeah. eventually, but it's not like the biggest priority, but I didn't think yeah. of it, like, for instance, but yeah. he was thinking of all this stuff. I'm like, dude, I wasn't thinking of any of that. I wanted my candles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how does, um, how does objective personality define any? Oh, sorry. What was that? Were you speaking to me? I was coughing, dude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's all good, man. How does, how does, how does a uh, objective personality define the function any extroverted intuition? Uh, very archaically as far as I'm concerned, as they do with most things because it gets down right to the essence and then you have to contextualize it. Um, Leon did uh, uh, mention um, basically gathering concepts. Um, what that looks like though, as far as I'm concerned, is it's like, it's basically, I'm moving through with a framework and N, just N in general is a framework. 
but the human need determines uh, sort of how that's constructed. So I'm moving forward throughout life with everyone else, but whenever I encounter something new, it's not, does this fit into my box? It's how do I make this fit? How do I use mm, it? It's, right. this is new information. New information is inherently useful as far as I'm concerned. What, what do I do with it? Like that's the assumption whenever I encounter something new is that I have to use it. Right. I look for it, but what about the, for how I use it before I discard it. Whereas it seems like, uh, and I is the exact opposite where it's like, if it doesn't fit immediately, then it's gone. And then if something happens, I might go back and look for new things. Um, so like whenever I encounter something new, like let's say I'm in a social situation and then something happens, it's not like I, it's not like I'm psychic. Um, but the more I know, the more, the more accurate my, uh, my predictions for what's going to happen and the more accurately I'm able to navigate situations. But when something unexpected or new happens, then I'm able to uh, immediately incorporate that into the way that I engage in, well, in this example, social situations. So if something doesn't work, then it's like, okay, I take that and I immediately assess, okay, why didn't that work? And then I move forward with that. It's not like, do I need to worry about this? It's, I, I do need to worry about this. And how does it, how does it uh, correspond to everything else that I already know? That's awesome. So would, would you say that it's like literally what people mean by open-minded? Or is that just some BS? Uh, you, could, sure just, you could, re, you, yeah, that's, it's yeah. not type related. You yeah. could make it sound type related, but, but I don't I, think it is. Yeah, I don't Obviously, think so either. But any is like the archetype of that, but it's not but because you have exactly an internal decision. You have to use you, any because anybody, <clears throat> but it's like any would be like you could say the best at it if they want to be. Yeah. They could also be the worst at it because yeah. they just they don't want to look that. But you also yeah. have to sort of like it comes down to the deciders as well. Right. It's it's more of a decider thing as far as I'm concerned. But yeah. any would yeah. be more of the archetype of that. It sounded like, from what you were saying, Aziz, it sounded like a good way to distinguish NI and NE is just NE is just basically res actually responsible for reality and NI is not. <laughs> like, like basically, like whatever happens is like, you know, this, I'm responsible for whatever I experience. And then NI is more like whatever is my, um, just the way I want to do things kind of thing, so. Yeah. That's what I yeah, got from it's, it's more like it's more like they they make their reality, whereas I'm dealing with the reality that's actual. Presented. Yeah, like actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's move on to any as a savior. So we've covered it a little bit from a savior perspective, um, but obviously, Assis and I both have extroverted intuition as our savior, top savior functions, um, and some examples and maybe anecdotes from that as a as a top function is. Um, and this can kind of be more related to anyone who has a savior uh, OE, extroverted observer. It's, they, they seem to be good or calm in, in chaotic situations. I think maybe the any dominants have a, a hand up on this because SE isn't in their primary line of focus. But what I mean by that is, and a perfect example is at work, um, I work in a service desk where I've got phone calls coming in. We've got like, team taking calls and working on customers like um, IT problems. Sometimes when there's a huge problem, for example, um, all of our customers' internet connections go down and then bang, the chaos comes. All these customers are calling us. They're all calling into the, into the office. Everyone's taking calls. People are stressing out. I'm saying, oh, the internet's down. What's going on? And I'm just like, hmm, interesting. This is, this is great. <laughs> and I'm like, Something fun. Okay. Something new. People are freaking out. People's like, you just, you watch all these like new expressions come out of people. You watch all these new like behaviors. People are stressing. I'm just like, yeah, well, you know, we just got to do what we can. So let's just take one phone call at a time and let's just talk to the customer, repeating ourselves, saying the same thing to every customer. Yes. We know our, your internet down. Um, thank you for letting us know. We are working on this right now and we will uh, provide you with some updates shortly. <laughs> and then, yeah, so it's just being able to like manage and think clearly in situations like that to be able to 
help the team manage because yeah, yeah if you just let people freak out and everyone gets freaked out and there's tension everywhere it's just like nothing's going to get done and it's people are just going to get worse y'all y'all oes are crazy man like what you just said about thriving in chaos um i have an istp friend i don't want to name <clears throat> him but like he said the same thing it's almost like he he when when shit's going wrong and like he likes that like people are like flipping out and shit he's like no like this is good like yeah. this is my element this is where actually two iscps have said that uh that are friends with me that are type by shape so like yeah just like yeah <laughs> yeah You're all crazy. so that, that that example is more just oe but i think yeah. with any specifically is another example is like sometimes if i'm not like present in the moment or if i'm too much thinking in my head yeah and someone, and someone says something to me or interrupts my, my train of thought like my mind can just jump to like something <laughs> completely random off topic and like disturbingly wrong <laughs> like someone could say something they just ask me a question and i will take the question completely out of context of the way they've delivered it and thinking they're talking about something completely and i'll respond with an answer that relates to a different concept yeah yeah i'll just look at me like what the heck are you talking about <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm oh like, my god oh, didn't i just answer your question like <laughs> oh sorry you meant this oh <laughs> yeah anything you're, yeah you're going through the spectrum like it could be anything yeah yeah <laughs> which one that's, is it uh, is yeah, one yeah. <laughs> that's crazy that's cool when i say yeah. pudding cup do not think of your grandmother naked in a pool of vanilla pudding. Pudding. <laughs> what? <laughs> if I got you in the comments, ha ha, comment. Comment if I got comment, you. Comment pudding cup. Pudding cup. Give us some, uh, some, any examples. Yeah, it's like, like the difference between like, uh, as far as I'm concerned with like any and Essie, um, like Essie, it's more like, it's more like, handling um like the chaos like like let's say like something happens um like like the like the power went out in uh, in jonathan's um in jonathan's uh, work um like essie would be like the dude like running around like putting out all the fires whereas like any yes. is like it's dealing with that but it's not like actually like it's not it's not, it, they're not going around running it, the fires they're they're running around finding uh, where the fires happened and um, figure out like, okay, what caused the problem and shit like that. Yeah. Tell why. Us, go, go fucking fix the sensory mess that I can't, that I can't actually fix, but that I figured out. Yeah. Um, That's right. <laughs> and I do, I do. I think, uh, oh, sorry, what were you going to say? Liam? Oh, no, I'm just going to talk on and on and on about, um, what I prepared. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, uh, an example with like the, well, not particularly an example, but I guess I could. Um, like when when shit is going like on, like with Jonathan's situation, I'm like entirely unfazed, and I I am like uh, markedly like unneurotic as far as like pretty much most things go. Um, but like I would say especially this, like 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 when I get into situations like that, it's not like I start freaking out, but like I do feel like more of an adrenaline rush coming in like like my body is preparing me to like 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 it like it feels like it feels a little fun like with what you were saying Odin. um and like a very sort of like not in the heat of the moment example was that uh last night um i found out that uh cuz i'm in like north texas and uh leon's in like um uh, what San Antonio, right? You're in San Antonio. Yeah, south. <laughs> yeah, so he's he's like a few hours south, and I found out on the news, and I confirmed it uh, through with multiple sources that the corona that there were a few confirmed cases of coronavirus in San Antonio, and so I've been watch I've actually been watching you know, as as a, as a, as, a, as a true observer would I've been watching the coronavirus for the past few months, and I've really been seeing it ramp up you know the past week or so and so i knew i was like look if it gets anywhere near texas i'm telling my mom and we're gonna prepare and it just skipped that it went straight into texas as far as i know <laughs> and i'm like okay 
uh, we need a prepare right now. But like, I didn't, I didn't freak out at all. I was just like, I was like so prepared to blast. Like I spent a month, <laughs> I spent a month doing this, all this research. And I like, I specified where the trigger was and then I was just ready to go. It was kind of weird though, because I've never actually done that. Um, but like when we were doing that, I wasn't actually concerned at all. And I've never like just things like this, like I'm never actually concerned because as, as far as, as I'm concerned, I'm always, I'm always prepared to deal with that. Um, the, I would say the most stressful thing was having to think about what the, like what I would actually have to like, like supplies for preparation. But that wasn't even, that was just an exercise in, in thought, you know, like, um, like projecting. It wasn't, it wasn't anything super like, like I wasn't freaking out about it. Um, so yeah. So yeah, yeah, you're just like processing all the options of yeah. potential chaos that could happen. What do I need to do? Yeah. What, and, what and areas I, should I be covering to be, yeah. to survive? And, yeah. Like, um, like I'm like pretty sure it's not waterborne. So I know that we won't have to like boil water and shit, but, mm. and, um, you know, just things like that. I'm pretty sure the electricity won't go out and that we won't get yeah. into like a, like a, like a purge scenario where, you know, people are going down the streets or whatever. I don't think that's going to happen, <laughs> but like, it is pretty <laughs> much that. Hey dude, but anything is possible, right? Just anything of anything being possible, <laughs> I wanted to say that uh, any type seem to debate just for the sake of going through all the possibilities with somebody, and they don't. I feel like they don't usually take it personally unless their identity is well, being hit multiple times or like really hard. Yeah. Or something unless like they've that. narrowed it down themselves and they've like locked their deciders into it. Like, this is yeah. everything I am. Oh yeah. yeah. My first experience with Jonathan was him telling me that that I should smoke. That was my first uh, experience with Jonathan. He came on and, yeah. and he came on me. He was like, like he was like he was angry. I thought he was angry at me because I told him I didn't. I, I <laughs> smoking. Like he got actually mad at me. And he's like, oh, the science mad, is there. It creates the neurons and shit and the connections in your brain, dude. It makes you smart. I'm like, oh, chill out. <laughs> Dude, my first my first interaction with you, you probably don't remember, was in the any uh, discussion video we did with Dave and Shan and the rest of the group. Oh shit! The one about any. Oh I yeah. yeah, I was there. And, I was there. Too. And Assis was the first one in the in the there with Dave talking with Dave and going through like some presentation thing. It's like, hey, yeah. this is my like. I think it was about intelligence, IQ. IQ, yeah. And, dude, I can blast. Yeah. You don't even know. <laughs> and you were just like blasting, blasting. It was great. I think you, yeah. you, I think you blasted the most in that whole, in that, in that video. Yeah, and I think I, I remember. I, I specifically remember the, the, the look of annoyance that he gave me. That was, <laughs> <laughs> was like a cease, a cease. Just, 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 just calm stop. down, man. <laughs> oh man, yeah, he's all, uh, in my like, time, oh, we There was like, there were like now. two other people that were saying like true. anything relevant. But I know that's not yeah. what they, what Dave and yeah. Shannon wanted, yeah. so that's fine. Yeah. Anyway, any is a demon. What is like? What is demon any? Like, what does any on the on the opposite end of the the, the function stack look like? People that have low any, um, if it's missing or if it's you know third, what are we what are we dealing with? I don't know. Who, I don't know. People. Yeah, me either. Who would you like to go first? It's not ST. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Um, I can go first. I, go, dude. Go. Okay. Sick. <clears throat> um. Yeah, so I guess it plays out as a general lack of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, more, it's not res lack of respect for what uh, the current situation could be. Um, I guess that's more of a demon N issue, but demon N E is more about like the current um, possibilities. And I is more about the future, like, oh, what career or what, do you know what I mean? Like, more subjectively but and he's like what's happening now what could it be and as a result i think right. demon enemies tend to be pleasantly surprised when a situation unfolds in in a, in a way other than what they saw it to be so it's quite interesting to see that um, okay yeah do you um so like with any i mentioned that sometimes like i can jump to conclusions or i can completely take the wrong context yeah um even in a savior state 
But yeah. I think potentially someone that has has a lower any they may because when they jump into conclusions it's kind of like a, a spike of energy it's like oh yeah. my gosh this is it's happening because of this <laughs> there's that spike so yeah, they're yeah, more yeah. Easy, like they'll tap into the any more in situations like that yeah yeah i get what you mean so, it's like the same problem from a different yeah. process like yeah. a completely different process yeah so they're, they're they're more tapping into like the the maybe the negative side of sides of, of, uh, extroverted intuition. Yeah. Um, yeah. and it's maybe, yeah, I just, uh, jumping to wrong conclusion or jumping to conclusions too quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I, I yeah. would say that it's, it's like, they're not, they're not aware of, um, that you can act in a way that's, okay. that's adaptable for, um, perhaps an, uh, Perhaps you incorrectly assess the the context of a situation, but you could act in a way that allows for that. Like they're not aware. They're like, okay, because they have Savior SI and it's like, okay, these, this is what's happening. There's this, this, and that, and whatever. And, and then something happens and they're like, oh, I didn't know that that was how, how, how was I supposed to know how, but I didn't understand it. How, how was I supposed to any that? It's like, mm. it's like you, you should like, like if you just didn't know that that like existed at all, okay, like that happens, like live and learn. But like, if you encountered it beforehand, like your first thought should have been, oh shit, let me learn from that. And it just, it seems like demon NEs especially because demon and I, it's, it, I feel really bad for savior SEs. I feel like they have it the worst, like uh, out of uh, <clears throat> sensors. But if like, as when I look at demon NEs, like, like I look at them with disdain because it's like, you could, you could totally any, if you wanted to, you, you have all of the SI there. I, I see you are telling me you won't shut up about it, but it's like all the pieces of that. They literally just have to draw the line. Yeah, like, exactly. it's like, it's like, they don't want to do that, yeah, that last yeah. thing. Yeah. Like the easiest thing because they did all yeah. the work it's like what are you doing man Come on, they please. put all the puzzle they put all the puzzle pieces together and then they're like it shows a dolphin they're like i have no idea what that is <laughs> exactly. That's exactly. there's a missing there's a missing piece there's a missing just, fin or something and it's like it's like yeah. the middle of the dolphin that's like it's just their skin it doesn't even matter yeah. like, I don't know what that is. that's what it, like that's no what that's it just like a picture me. of a dolphin ding dong <laughs> Nice. All right. Um, let's move on to the pros. No, I'm not ready yet to think of any as a creative brainstorming function. Like what if this happened? Like what if we tried it this way? Um, yeah. And this will be the likely outcome of us taking this action. So this is also how the any demon types will view things, but obviously in the demon state and their anxiety will come from the unknown possibilities. Whereas the excitement in the any saviors, that, that's how that works. Um, like they'll think of the possibilities and stress out because of them, but then they'll prepare for that possible chaos with that knowledge or with that any going blah, 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 blah. This is, yeah. So that's how they will leverage their creativity, like to, um, to prepare. Just to, to, to um, to just to, to specify what Leon is saying about the anxiety, uh, a lot of where my anxiety comes from in relation to OE or to any is that I can see sometimes where I don't know something, and that makes me really anxious. Like that, the, to know that I don't know something, and especially when I know how to get it, but I can't for whatever reason, maybe someone won't tell me or I'm just not in a position. Maybe it costs too much money or whatever. That is the most frustrating thing and most anxiety inducing thing for me. Mm. I would rather prefer to not even know that there was uh, that potential there because now <laughs> have, they're responsible for it. Exactly. Yeah. Limitations. Yeah. I'm responsible for it. Exactly. That's exactly right. Oh shit, man. Yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> that ties in nicely to the, pros of any um and what i had there is so the pros of extroverted intuition kind of goes along with what leon was saying but the brainstorming thing and being able to figure out a lot of possible solutions but um from like from my perspective like 
my people that I've know the voice tell me I'm very optimistic. I'm always like, <clears throat> I am always positive that there's always a solution to a problem. So, you know, if, if someone tells me, if I tell someone I wanted, I wanted to achieve something or I want to get something, it's like, oh, well, you know, it's, it might not work because of this. And I'm like, well, have you thought about these other billion things? Have you tried any of those? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, those are different ways to get there. So I feel like, um, like any is really good at like the troubleshooting process. Um, because you can figure out all the different, like always thinking about different ways of, of solving problems. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I have a, I have a, I have a story about that. Um, if, if I'm not interrupting your train of thought. Oh uh, no. Tell okay. us. So one time in middle school, I, they, there was some sort of after school event for something. Um, and they were trying to hook up the, they were trying to display the, what was on the laptop, a movie on the laptop to a bigger TV. And they just couldn't do it. They couldn't figure out how to connect it because the, the connection, it wouldn't show. And then I got it to show, but then it wouldn't, uh, display the sound. And so then what I did was I figured out how to, how to connect it to how to show the connection, but then there wasn't the sound. And so I, I figured out that what was happening was that it, the computer was defaulting to like, it, it was automatically defaulting, like all the time, even if you change it, it would just immediately go back to the computer's uh, own audio. It was just muted. So, I, so we didn't hear that. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, look, I'm going to have to disconnect this and it's going to cause some problems later that you're going to have to fix and I won't. <laughs> Is you're okay with that? If you're a hundred percent okay with that, I could do this right now and be fixed, or I could spend another hour, you know, from the hour <laughs> you wasted trying to figure something else out. And they were like, just fucking do it, man. We're so, we're so, we're so just, just do it. We just want to watch the movie. And I'm like, okay, press. <laughs> and everybody was like, Woo -hoo -hoo. please, and then please like, do your savings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that, that was like, no, like nobody else uh, could figure it out because they just didn't, they didn't, they didn't want to look because how any works, it's like, there's all, here's all of the little nodes that I'm being presented with. How, what are the mechanics? How are they interacting together? And that interaction is how you know what's missing. Right. Have uh, you ever like experienced mm -hmm. where you're like, Oh, like someone says, Oh, I've tried everything. And you're just like, I can yeah. literally name 20 that you haven't. <laughs> it's yeah, like, someone is like, I'm always like, okay, what did you try? Like just, my, just my favorite my favorite one is when they said oh i've tried i've rebooted the computer 10 times already i'm like you literally tried the same thing 10 times are you an twice. ij or something What's yeah. Yeah. you know i think i think i'm the most uh because i think any does does that and then t also like is good at that mm. as well and i'm the most i'm the most like um like you guys, all you guys either have any or TE, and Jono has both. And I'm, so I'm like, I don't relate to having, I don't know, like I, I do tend to feel like I'm, I really am just like walking with like just one kind of, I don't know, I, I can't look at too many things at the same time. I kind of just have to like slowly go through it. And I feel like everyone else does seem to see more than me. So like, yeah, I think it's a lack of your, your MTE. Your, yeah, the difference is like your level of depth and understanding is like incredibly deeper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Man. It, no, I think so. I, yeah, okay. So. I'll take, um, I'll take uh, that. Uh, <laughs> Otim, 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 did you have anything about the pros of being any? I think Leon's already kind of covered yeah. some, some pros. Yeah, man. Um, first of all, any sounds pretty sick. Um, you all seem yeah, sick. Fully sick all, all types of sick, by the way. Just putting it out there. No, no yeah. bias. No, no, no none of us are actually sick. We have no, we have no virus. <laughs> no, yeah, not but yet though. For, uh, you know, Coronavirus will get you eventually. Do. Not to be morbid, yeah. but uh, so um, any is able to kind of. Uh, it seems like it can kind of ex experience reality in terms of what its highest potential is. Whereas SE is like seeing reality as it is um, without like the human element of like, you know, your own cognition involved. And then NI is sort of looking at potential, but like purely related to them subjectively. Um, but NI is literally like looking at the universal potential, like just 
reality and the potential of that kind of thing. Um, so it's like in touch of the process of X is happening and Y is the potential of X. So they're really, yeah. really good at like gathering resources and, um, and kind of like what you guys are saying, like troubleshooting and like figuring stuff out because the gathering resources are like the highest level. So it's mm. kind of like really in tune to that kind of conceptual world. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. I'm not like, yeah. So I'm, I, I do tend to be aware that like I'm not any in usually like I, I, I kind of focus on things one thing at a time and I have to like dig deep. And uh, yeah, it's very slow. That's why like when I'm messaging you guys, like, like I break my messages down so much because I literally have to like walk through my Process thoughts. It. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. weird. Um, but yeah. Okay, cool. All I right. wanted to say uh, just an, an real quick, uh, uh, an advantage of any about like how they can see many countless scenarios coming up or it, like, I feel like it's very useful in life and business. So if they can like, see possible future outcomes and have a good understanding of that then they can have a visible target to hit so once they have the goals to achieve through the function now they just need to leverage si to complete it but i think that's still really useful as someone that's growth-minded and has any as a savior that's <clears> awesome <throat> nice man yeah. um <clears throat> cons what are the bad what's the bad side of any What's the bad side, whether it's a savior or that lower in the stack? Yeah, I think um, the the ability to see all that potential in reality does come out of a come at a cost of just not being grounded in like in yourself, yeah. in your body, in your existence. Like, and, like no matter how like otherworldly you are, you still have to like live your days as a human <laughs> with yeah. like human and having, problems. Yeah, having a platter, having a platter of of, of possibilities in front of you. Yeah, lead to like indecision. That's like yeah, what? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and you exactly. normally those that, but they're always like future orientated like possibilities too. So like in the moment you might need start? something. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's that it's that conflict that you guys will have. Yeah, and and therefore you can get stuck in always looking at the new possibilities. You kind of start on something, mm -hmm. uh, which is forcing you to s to, to si and to start building. But then you, but then do, you get more like because there's, new, there's like, always another possibility, so you're always thing. gonna be like, oh shit, like Ooh, there's this, this one, and then it's like you you can pivot really well and you can yeah. adapt <laughs> and change to each different scenario. Yeah. But if you're doing that all the time, you're not gonna create build any, any of them. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, that's all I got. Do you yeah. guys feel like um, having any uh, like one con could be like since you're so stuck in the future but it seems to be less narrowed and it's like more of like a ring around the rosy kind of just going around seeing all these possibilities then by the time you figure out okay this is what i'm gonna do and then you're like oh crap uh that doesn't even work anymore because i wasted so much time thinking about all these possibilities and then you have to go back into the circle and you're like we again does that ever happen to you um no, I mean, like, definitely go around in circles sometimes, like, trying different things, getting, and then going, crap, I need to get back to this one and just work on that. But um, <clears throat> I think if if we come up with a roadblock and something doesn't work, then that's when we look at, we start to any around that, like, trying to figure out, okay, how do we make it work? The the biggest thing with, with sort of how I, uh, I guess you could say plan, it's, is that I try to not, uh, make things time restricted because that's just one more, that's just one dimension of limitation that I have to account for. And the whole point and like the whole thing that I'm going for is maximum adaptability. Like it encompasses everything. So if I don't, if I don't, if I, if I sort of make it to where it doesn't have to account for time, that that's like one more degree of freedom that I have. Yeah, that makes sense. That's awesome. That is, is that, you yeah, gotta have for time most of the time because don't that, control me, bro. Yeah, exactly. Don't don't put a time on it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. All right, cool. Well, that brings us to the end. That was the uh, what is it? Extroverted intuition <laughs> video. Any <laughs> we talked about the pros, the cons, what it's like as a savior state, what it's like in demon state, 
And I hope that was informative for you guys. Um, please drop some comments specifically about this, specifically about other things, things you want us to cover, coronavirus, we need more news. So just please throw more theories at us so we can just go and observe a freak outs. Um, Including yeah. Kurt. <clears throat> please like, subscribe, and share. Peace out. How, sh how could I have known? You know, it's like, dude, it's not that you could have known. It's that you should have acted in a way that allowed... Uh, yo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, like... feel like, I feel like for her, though, it's like she just doesn't... She, she's like using that as like... She's just telling you what she needs to understand, but it's like... <laughs> That's not how it works. That's yeah. not how it works. Yeah. I can't make you understand anything. <laughs> My definition of ST clear is different from yours. And yours would be different from someone who's the exact same type as you. And yeah. that's just like, just get out of your own fucking head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, but that's... yeah.